probably a lot stronger now that you've recovered from a near-death experience. <laughs> so you know about that, huh? <laughs> Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons Wait to go up minute. or down. If neither Fraser nor Ginyu are back at the ship, then that means the ship's completely defenseless right now. <laughs> Something wrong, Vegeta? <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, characters. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can do with any of these guys. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Okay, Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta. No. Yeah, rapid fire. There we go. Closing in. I've, I, I, I. I think it's cool that Vegeta also gets that little boost that we have, even though he wasn't with us when we ate it, but it's still fine. That's it, you Captain! Know real got you know that? The Captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake! Don't be a fool! Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000! 60,000? Science don't 60, have that power? Promising! This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time! Alright! Let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! Vegeta! Man, I can't believe Vegeta ditched me like that. I guess he probably thinks he can get his hands on the Dragon Ball while me and this guy fight it out. I know I just got here, but let's get this show on the road. Ah, you're a confident one, aren't you? But not for long. The mighty Captain Ginyu will put you in your place. See, this guy's a lot more capable than he looks. This here goes! Damn it! How do I keep getting stunned? I wish I could see my stun meter like theirs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, still got an S rank. Yay. Level up. 29. Uh, are, are you? No. No, you can't be. Are you? Are you a Super Saiyan? What's that? Vegeta said something about that, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan? You mean. You mean the legendary warrior? No! This cannot be! Yeah, Ginyu's definitely putting that on a show here. Is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, oh I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter. What, what are you doing? <laughs> That body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! Good old body change. Oh, damn. Hey! Got that ass! Got that ass! <laughs> Goku? What? What's going on? What, what? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain, here's your scanner. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> so I get the plans again, you for like a little bit. <sighs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> I always love the, the Ginyu fight. The Ginyu fight is always amazing to me. He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. Do I get to play as Nail and fight Frieza? You That'd be must awesome. go, didn't they? Unhurry. Those Earthlings need you. Okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? 
What do you want? Greetings and salutations. Ooh, that'd be actually a... My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. That actually would be awesome if they let us be Nail for this fight. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Hmm. Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, Understood my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, <laughs> very well then. That laugh of Frieza is always good too. Man, I really want to rewatch all of Dragon Ball. Yes, am I going to be nailed? That'd be awesome. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. How kind of me. That's enough! Ah, Jip. Although I kind of get it because Nail does lose. Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! It looks like all seven of them are together! Secure so the remaining Dragon Balls on the spaceship, right, you mean all of them? I hope my dad's alright! Of course he's alright! He's Goku! Plus, Vegeta's with him! Yeah, that's true! That just calls for more worry. Still, I wonder what sort of training Goku had to go through to get so strong. Times 1,000 under gravity. Full of surprises. Krillin, look at that. That's their spaceship. Uh, I want to check the relationship. Uh, oh, really? The relationship chart is, the, is one of the things that did not upgrade. That's actually pretty cool. Use guided Kamehameha ten times. I don't have a guided Kamehameha. Ah, damn it! Of course there was more. Oh, I did not do that one. Yee. Alrighty, let's go 
Get those dragon balls. Can't stop till we got them all. The radar's showing that the dragon balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the dragon balls. If I remember correctly, I believe they get buried? Yep, they were. So, they actually buried them in the ground. God damn it. The four-star Dragon Ball is always going to drive me nuts. We've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Vegeta has the... Best character development in this Poronga show. Appears. Poronga! It was Poronga! Well, here goes! Right! Come forth, Shinron! And grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's. Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it! What the hell are those two doing? Quillen, someone's coming this way. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does, does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls. How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the dragon radar. The dragon radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. It might have to do with that scouter, Goku. And maybe that evil smile you're putting on. The way your eyes are looking. It's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? What do you mean it's not uh, your dad? It's clearly I him! I to explain it, but I know it's not him! This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Also, could you hear his voice is different? Wait, what did you say? <sighs> Hi! Hmm? And you're? Yeah, I'm Goku. Brilliant. Go on! That's not me! <laughs> Wow, you actually made it this far. <laughs> I believe That's I'm going to be correct. playing as Vegeta the during this fight or something. Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! Captain Ginyu! You know, the awesome thing about Ginyu is no one has actually... I think either Jace or Bud are the only people or person that has ever seen Ginyu's original body. And the body that Ginyu has now, not the Goku one, but the one before... That's, you know, is not his actual body. It'd be actually pretty cool if we knew what his actual body looked like. No. Or what it was. It can't be. That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on. Traylon, I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, but you don't know how to use my moves, yeah. so... You're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool. The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks. Let me join in a fight, Captain! Or I could totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Trust me! I'm Jace! Well, then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! We when did you I think it's 
finally time to test this new body of mine out. Bitch. I was, I was about to ask that. I wonder if you could ever have more than two other party members with you, but no, it makes sense that you can only have two because otherwise you won't be able to use their moves. I was hoping to do the Z thing, but oh well. Bye, Jace. No, this can't be happening. Jace couldn't have been defeated so easily. You're next. You're next. He grabs a frog because he's gonna to try to change it to Vegeta's body again. <laughs> Looks like I'm back to being me again. <laughs> what, what the hell just happened? What was that just now? That feels like my dad, all right. My dad, he's back in his own body. Damn it. This time. This time I'm taking Vegeta's body! Uh oh. If he switches places with Vegeta, we're all done for. Not good. Not good. Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! Huh? A frog! Perfect! Change! Robot. <laughs> I love how they brought it back in uh in Super with Ginyu. That was awesome. Robot. Although how the freaking how the frog survived is beyond us. Actually, no, I think in a filler it was revealed that it came back on Earth happened? when he made the wish. Yes, I did it. <laughs> I turned him into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fast. Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. 
Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it, it, it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them to how tell to them. use the Dragon Balls. What? 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 Hey, hey. A little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? Not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No, all five of them couldn't have. They have been. They couldn't have all been defeated. They were. No, something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls. No. Ah oh, shit! I, the Almighty beast. Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes. Not lower life forms like you. Like you. Ah oh, shit! Like I said, Freezer's pissed. <laughs> this tickles. This medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't really like how it looks. Well, too bad, you're gonna wear it and go on actually looks kinda cool in it. Whoa, this is crazy! Super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. Nothing at all. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Super pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's hope we don't run into him first. I wonder how long it's going to take for my dad to fully recover. Well, Vegeta said in no time, so hopefully not too long. Hi. Oh, come on, they've got to be somewhere. The Freezer Force! Yes. Damn it, they found me. I have to take him out. Take him out before he does anything evil. Rogue Chief Malone. A water Malone next to a water Malone! All right. You want to throw down? You really want to fight? Damn it. That was faster than I expected. Yo. Ow, 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 ow. Huh? huh? This guy's a pushover. Ah! I give up. I give up. You guys win. Just leave me alone. But. but Whoa. What? You really gonna kick a guy when he's down? Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. So then leave me alone, would ya? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Look at that. Wow, you actually listen to me. Wait, you guys aren't part of the Frieza Force, are you? I don't recognize you. <laughs> All right, you probably thought we were because of these uniforms. <sighs> Jeez, you're trying to trick me or something? Thought you guys were here to drag me back to the base. Sorry for the confusion. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Seriously, man. <sighs> Wait, why are we apologizing to him? 
What's a Frieza Force soldier doing out here anyway? Here. And why does the sight of other soldiers scare yeah. you? Like I said before, I thought you were trying to drag me back to the base. I'm a bit of celebrity chief of this force. You guys heard of me, right? I'm the famous Chief Malone. <sighs> Sorry, but we haven't heard of you. Oh, now. Well, what? Well, guess I need to get my name out there a little more. Whatever. The whole reason I joined the force was so I could get dispatched to this planet. See, on Namek, I got access to special fruits that can only be found here. <laughs> I really want to get my hands on some, so I snuck away from the force to look for them. <laughs> ha, so that's why you were worried about being forced to go back. I had no idea Namek had fruit like that. You see, you can see them for yourself if you help me out. I'm not pulling any tricks, I swear. Let's see. What do you think, Krillin? <sighs> Knowing you, I bet you really want to help this guy out, huh, Gohan? <laughs> hey, music to my ears, thanks a bunch. Alright, so I'm looking for... Yucker melons, acid orange ends, and roll nuts. Um. So where can we find these fruits? If I knew, I wouldn't be struggling like I am, but according to the computer, the melons can be found in rocky areas. For oranges, they're not going to believe this, but they apparently grow on the roots of trees here. Isn't that wild? And the roll nuts? Yeah, a roll nuts grow on trees in the highlands and ripen by falling on the ground and rolling away. So you'll probably find them in places down away from the trees. No clue where that could be exactly. <sighs> they could even end up rolling into the ocean. Yeah, maybe. You could check that too. Alright, find all the fruit and I'll give you a reward. <laughs> okay, we'll find the three fruits and bring them back Hell here. Yeah. Don't let me down. This is an interesting side mission. <laughs> No sense freezes power level close by. I hope he's not already at Guru's place. It's a watermelon next to a watermelon. Oh shit, there's two more. It's gotta be the yucca melon. Ew, it's all slimy. Oh no, the, the, those are just other locations I can find um, the things. Also, that portrait that's next to that guy's face when they show him is nothing like his, his actual thing. the roll nut that we're gonna find here. Right, so it was in the ocean after all. But how this thing is hard? Can you even crack it open? I feel like I'm losing power. Let's get some grub. Oh, here's the ships where. Um. Uh, those are the ships where, um, the Ginyu Force came from. <laughs> yeah, it's probably an Ajizia orange. Yeah, it smells like a flower. Right. That should do it. This should be all of them. Alright, time to head back. He's a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze. Hi! We're back! I think we found everything you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, way to go, guys. Looks like you were the right people for the job. Look at that! Let's see. 
Yucker Mallet, one bite of its succulent flesh fills the mouth with the most delectable juice and sends your taste buds to another world. Most people, it's just a tasty fruit, but to a certain race, eating it gives them quite the rush. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah. As Gia's oranges, his almost overwhelmingly sweet fragrance is complemented with a fresh, or fresh orange scent. Of course, the flower is even better, and the soft skin is a delicacy to eat as well. Plus, it triggers special reaction to the bite that temporarily increases the power of whoever eats it sever several fold. Just like the yucker melon, the effect only applies to a certain race. Um. I keep mentioning a certain race. What race are you talking about? <laughs> hey, you mean you haven't figured it out by now? Wait. That's right, I'm talking about my race. Yeah, the yucker melon and the Agisia orange. Ah. So what about the roll nut? Oh, this key's way higher than it was before. <laughs> See, I wasn't kidding before I mentioned the effects these fruits have on my body. I don't believe it, you tricked us. Oh, this feels great. Now then, as for you two, <laughs> going to make the ultimate fruit juice. Huh? <laughs> and with my newfound power, I now have the strength to crack open this roll nut. Of course, I, I figured that was going to be the case. He, he, he needed that stuff to get the roll nut. That's right, I need the yucker melon and the Agisia orange to open the roll nut. But make no mistake, the melon will add a rich flavor to the juice, and the orange fragrant aroma will add a nice, fine, interesting touch to the beverage. Blah! Um, <sighs> are you okay? Yeah. I guess my body was extra sensitive to the effects of the fruit. Anyway, I finished making the juice. Here, please take it as a token of my gratitude for helping me out. Got the ultimate fruit juice. Thank you so much! Thank you. Took a lot out of me. I think I'm going to take a little break. I'll have to come up with another tasty concoction using these ingredients. <laughs> this guy uh, really likes his food, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I thought for sure he was gonna fight us though. <sighs> Same here. I actually started to change my charge my key. I mean he clearly looked like it was scheming something. Yeah, his laugh sounded really evil. Oh now. Why are you staring at me? Cut it out, I know I'm a famous chef, but you're making me blush. Hehehe. <laughs> Here's a force full of some weird people. Neat. That was fun. Chef Malone. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think this is probably a good spot to end this recording session. This has been going on for four hours. Plus, I am hungry. So, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below, like about the video, down like about the video. Let me know, guys, what do you guys think of uh, what do you guys think of the dynamic so far? It's really fun. Um, so yeah, this this is really fun. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG, Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.